Hi guys. It has been a long time since our last video. I had a hard time deciding on a new machine design. I am starting a new project. DIY CNC lathe. This video is the first video and part one of this project. I will continue this video series until this machine is completed in the future. Since the machine is not yet completed, I do not know what will happen in the future. I would like to enjoy making the machine. This is the CNC lathe I designed. I went through many design changes to design a cool machine that would motivate me. I think this design is quite unique. Two Z-axis linear guides are mounted at 90 degrees angle. The two linear guides on the Z-axis are different lengths, and only three linear blocks are used. This design makes it possible to make a smaller machine, and space for the motor to be placed under the headstock. It make possible to smooth discharge of cutting chips. The reason why I decided to build my own CNC lathe is because the lathe I want is not for sale. What is my ideal machine? The lathe strong enough to lathe steel. I wanted to use a self-centering chuck for high precision machining. A self-centering chuck is a chuck that can make adjust itself to center the part after it is chucked. I wanted a very small lathe. When this lathe is completed, it will be used inside a soundproof box. In other words, it needs to be small enough to fit in this box. This is the soundproofing box I built. This is a soundproofing box made of concrete. If you are interested in this soundproofing box, please watch another video. To improve work efficiency, I made the bottom plate sliding so that the machine inside can be pulled out. Isn't it pretty cool? The CNC router is in there now, and the 3D printer will also be used inside this soundproof box. When the CNC lathe is completed, it will be used inside this box. However, building and making CNC lathe is not easy. Machining metal parts is a challenge because I do not have sufficient machining equipment. For small parts, I have this 5-axis CNC machine and a modified 3-axis CNC machine that I have built before, so I can do metal machining. With this lathe, metal turning is also possible. The problem is creating the machine base. The largest part of the CNC lathe is the machine base. I do not have the equipment to machine a part of this size. So I decided to create the base using epoxy granite. I have been testing and testing for some time now, and have come to the point, where I can produce epoxy granite to my satisfaction. Epoxy granite is a very good substitute material for casting bases. Epoxy granite is made from sand, gravel and epoxy, and is about 90% sand and gravel. After the formwork is made, the epoxy granite can be poured to complete the project. If I use this way, it make possible to make large and high strength machine bases. Epoxy granite is an excellent material, but it has some disadvantages. It is difficult to drill or additional machining after the epoxy granite has cured. This means that metal must be embedded to make threaded holes in the areas where headstocks, linear guides and other things like that are mounted. It is necessary to plan well where the metal will be embedded. Once the design is completed, the formwork is made. The formwork should be made with the idea of removing it later. Now let's make the formwork.
The formwork is complete. I think it turned out well. CNC lathe making has just begun. Whenever I make something, unexpected problems arise and I have a hard time solving them. I don't even know when this machine will be completed, but I want to enjoy it and do my best. If you are interested in this project, please subscribe to this channel and don't miss the next video. In the next video, the machine base will be completed by pouring epoxy granite into this formwork. Please look forward to seeing what kind of machine base will be created.